comes to uh, Avian Clancy finds an element Loy but just runs into Dorothea Groylick couldn't get her clearance away Colleen Kennedy really looking like a dangerous figure though she's starting to cause a little bit of a little bit of panic at the back for Wexford as we get into these early stages again Cork City are looking like a very threatening side this year here's Dorothea Groylick again comes down to Kennedy flags off for offside it's in the back of the net won't won't count. Flag Yet another up. warning side for Exeter though, that if they keep giving the ball away, 30 yards from their own goal, they will be punished. That was... Cork won't be happy. Maybe they might have Doherty's touch was intentional, but referee flagged and Wexford escape. Still nil-nil, but need someone in the, in the middle to, to finish it off. Conlon doing well going forward as well. Here's Clancy. Swinger now. Off to the back post is oh, panned away in. and it's in. It's a Super close range finish. It's Orla Conlon, the vital touch at the back post. Fitzgerald won't be, won't be very happy with that. She couldn't, couldn't get clean contact on it. It's a wonderful ball in, really whipped in there with speed and just Cork switched off at the back post. Get a second look at it, it was panned away and I think yeah as you said Fitzgerald needed to do a little bit better, it arrived to the feet of Orla Conlon, looking for Corbett up there. Corbett reacts quickly and well against Cotter but recovered the centre back. Good quick turn there. Colleen Kennedy's now up on her own. It's a poor touch. Comes to Kennedy through on goal. Pulls it wide, but so close from Kennedy. That was another big opportunity and a let off for Wexford. Tuttle breathed a big sigh of relief after that touch. Really a bit, just a lack of concentration as it came, came across her. But uh, that was, I mean, Williams did well to come out and cover the angle. She did, but didn't she? Didn't leave Kennedy much options, but still, you would hope, you, if you're a Cork fan, you would hope the strike would have done better there. Yeah, There's quite a few players around that ball. Now they're moving away. Plenty of options up in the box. Eve Cotter's come forward. It is a shot, and it's at the near post. It's spilled, and it's finished. By Dorothy Groylick. That is poor from Wexford. Really switched off for that free kick. No one reacted to the shot. Weren't expecting the shot at all. It was expected to be floated across goal, but a good finish in the end. Close range for Dorothy Groylick. That puts Cork City back on level terms just as we approach half time. It's game on for the second half now. Don't go away. It's a real boost before half time. It's always such a crushing time to concede. Really just arcs at you. Conlon floats in a low ball. Needs to be gotten away sooner rather than later. Comes to roster. She has the strength to hold off the defender all day. Another Wonderful good ball, ball across. Flags up. That's, that's in. For a, a, is think, it a goal? I think, yeah, it is a goal. It is a goal. I, I think it was an OG as well. We'll see now whether Corbett or the It's hard to tell if someone got a touch. Relies quickly enough, but... Just when you thought there was no time left at all, the first half, Wexford FC went back in front. Tough one to call. Did it come off centre or did it go straight in off roster? Still, yeah. still not sure, but it was uh, absolutely crazy end to the first half. Two goals and two added minutes. It was uh, really um, got everyone uh, on their feet. But uh, it'll be uh, interesting second half in that. Wexford in, in the same position as they were just before the goals went in. And uh, they kind of have to collect themselves after uh, conceding and then going straight back ahead and try and get the rhythm. But, oh, it's a goal straight away! Well, Wexford definitely didn't collect themselves. They left so much space in the middle there. And Kennedy just waltzed in and knocked the ball into the net. There's a super run down the right as well by Laura Shine. And as you said, there's that close range finish from Colleen Kennedy. She looked like she might have scored all day today, to be honest. She's got her goal now and she's put her side run out right from Ellie O'Brien. 
or shine, sorry. That's where the goal came from. It's a similar ball in. There's Ellie O'Brien looking to turn and strike. Colleen Kennedy will get there first again, but Maeve Williams had it well covered. She tried to sneak in at the near post. That was really good movement there from Maeve Williams. She had it well covered from it. Yeah, tricky had to get position. over quickly. Yeah, Three for Robinson up front. Comes to sin it. Ooh. Almost dicey. Oh. It's very dicey. In fact, it's String who's looking to arrive. Just got back around in time, sin it, but that was that was that was too close from comfort. You could see it coming the whole way with the back pass. Just a hairs of some quality performance. I'd say really impressed with Colleen Kennedy. First time seeing her, I think, at this level for me. As the referee blows for full time, it was an action-packed first half, and it ends in stalemate in the end. Yeah, I think it's a very fair Sorry. result for both sides to come away with the draw.